Pooja Sihak of India or Naomi De Bruyne. Naomi De Bruyne, born in Utrecht in the Netherlands, but now lives in the western suburbs of Sydney. More popular of the two here, as you can imagine, with all the Indians in the crowd. Won bronze at the 2021 Asian Championships. Australia with just the one bronze medal to their name thus far. That was Jane Lawrence from Camden. Now another Sydney signer, an adopted one. So De Bruyne in the uh, red sash there. Sheehag in the blue one. Fingers, I think, straight away there. Referee quickly on that. You can hear the fans in the crowd getting behind the wrestler in blue, shouting Pooja India. Well, they got plenty to sing about, haven't they? They have been a Absolutely, truly amazing, and uh, they've been treated to uh, an absolute fest here. So who's going to take the chance then? And uh, oh well, it was uh, it was going to be De Bruyne of Australia, and now she's come unstuck there because now Sheehag is uh, pushing for the pin. Trying to get that shoulder down. One shoulder's down, but not two. Yep, he's not gonna let it go on forever here. Two points though for Sheehag. For the original takedown. So the Indians the first on the board. Now she's working at it so hard here and Look how De Bruyne there, just staying on her side. She knows that if she just gives in just this little bit here, the pressure's on the arm. Referee can't, boys in the background. Yeah, she can't actually uh, pull on the neck there and uh, just manages to turn out. Now going for the gut wrench. Out of the frying pan, into the fire. She gets it, it's a two points. And she's going to go again, and another two points there. Well, that attack lasted for a good minute, if not more, and it reaps a rich reward for Seahag, six points. Just goes to show that uh, the referees let it go on because they know that uh, there's a, a something building and the possibility of points on the board. So I like to see that knowledgeable uh, referee there just knowing that uh, something is there. 15 seconds to go in the opening round. It's been dominated by the Indian. She's just going to pick up another two points just going into the break there. So eight points now. And that two there, it was kind of given away there by De Bruyne. Just needs two points now coming into the second period. Cassie Holland that you can hear there saying you're still in this, Naomi. She is the coach. She's also the sister. She was Commonwealth Games competitor in 2010 and 2014. Sister of Justin Holland, who was in the men's 74 kilo today. You can hear her encouraging Naomi De Bruyne every second of the way, but she's got a mountain to climb. Well, she's the one that uh, has taken a couple of chances, hasn't she, De Bruyne? Always looking for the, uh, the leg and when she's uh, gone down for it, it's been turned against her.
Yeah, they're, they're shouting passive blue, and uh, they're right. I mean, she's doing nothing now, just letting the clock tick away. Doesn't have to take any chances. It's all about De Bruyne going forwards. Yes, there's a very Australian accent shouting. There's another one, passive blue, as you say, Neil. Blue's not wrestling, passive blue, Cassie Holland saying it as well. Yeah, doing absolutely nothing, and now she's turned it. Two points, and that finishes it off, and uh, what happened was De Bruyne then went for it again, and right on the edge there, she had turned it against her and got the back. But uh, she just waited, and that's all she had to do. She was on uh, being pushed out, just managed to turn it on the edge there to get the back of De Bruyne. Can, how do you challenge passivity, though, because the referee hasn't given it, so it will presumably be for stepping outside. And did she hug step off the mat before the throw? It doesn't look like it. Last no. throw of the dice. And like you said, if the referee didn't uh, give it, then... Uh, you don't, um, well, can you punish just being uh, yes, passive? You can, ah, but it needs a warning. It's two point take out blue, not step out. It's two point blue challenge, lost. And there we have it, game over. 10 0, Fuji wins it and wins the bronze medal. <laughs> Disappointment for. Of room, but uh, see how I mean, uh, when she was wrestling, I mean, she was superior anyway, but uh, then just needed to play a bit of tactical play, really, and that's exactly what she did in the end. Got the two, and then the extra point, of course, to uh, win the title. Look at that, pushed right to the edge, and that's how it uh, can sometimes backfire on you, move out the way.